Shalom, Shalom. Peace and grace be with you guys. Greetings. <laughs> Let me share with you the word of God is written in the book of Matthew chapter 17 verse 11. It says, Elijah is coming and will restore everything. He replied, but I tell you, Elijah has already come and they didn't recognize him. On the contrary, they did whatever they pleased to him. In the same way, the Son of Man is going to suffer at their hands. And then the disciples understood that he had spoken to them about John the Baptist. We know very well that uh, the scripture had fulfilled. The scripture which is written in the book of Malachi chapter 4-5 uh, have, had have been fulfilled uh, in the life of John the Baptist in Luke in Luke 1 chapter 17 and we know that um, when has speak when uh, when the Bible actually speak about Elijah in the New Testament here it's it just simply means uh, the ministry of Elijah it seems means that the John John the Baptist he had taken this the the same ministry as Elijah had when he was on earth so Elijah and John the Baptist they had the same ministry and the ministry was to 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 deliver the message for repentance to the people of Israel that's why um, the scripture here it speak about Elijah and Jesus have said that Elijah has already come and he did whatever they pleased to him it means that when Elijah when the John the Baptist came the people of Israel had rejected him they didn't recognize they didn't value what was in Eli what was in in John the Baptist actually I think that the really the Israelite people they were waiting actually for Elijah Elijah uh, they, they like uh, because they know that Elijah he di he didn't die he was he was ruptured so because Elijah was ruptured that's why um, they were waiting for him and when then Jesus uh, he said uh, he said about Elijah as I was say, as I, as I said he was simply means about the ministry about the assignment that that the John that John the Baptist had but even John the Baptist he was killed he was killed and they didn't even accept the message that John the Baptist was delivered to them as the same way Jesus as well he came and they also didn't recognize about about that he was the Messiah and they also did the same that's why he said he will suffer the son of man is going to suffer at their hands but my point here my view is not about that my view is is about this as we see here as we see here um verse 13 13 it says that then the disciple understood that he had spoken to them about john the baptist it means that when jesus was speaking to to disciples to disciples uh, there was they just got a few things as some revelation of what Jesus was telling him you know that this chapter speak about uh, transfiguration it speak about the transfiguration of Jesus Christ when Elijah and Moses appeared and in chapter 11 Jesus said Elijah is coming and it will restore everything here most of commentaries they say it's it it might be that Elijah will come as is written in Revelation chapter 11 about the two weakness so they this they think that it might be um, Elijah and Moses most of people they believe that and others they don't believe that it would be real Moses and Elijah others they believe that it will be just some witness which is not yet revealed to people and that will take the ministry the same ministry the same the same 
the same ministry Elijah had carried while he was on earth. Those people they will they will carry the same ministry to deliver the message to the people of Israel, um, for them to repent from their wrong deeds. Are you with me? So because of that, some others they say that it means that we don't have a full picture actually on um, where we can stand and say this is really uh, this this is why it's gonna happen you know why why we cannot stand in one thing you know why we cannot hold a stick in one thought or one view of of, of theologian uh, study or theologian way of thinking because who has the final who has the full picture of everything is God God is the only one who has the full picture of everything. We can guess, we can receive from the Spirit of God some revelation, but I'm telling you this thing, it will not be the full picture of what is in the thought of God, of what is in the reality of God, of what is in the, re, uh, in the, in the, in the spiritual realm where God is. It will not be equal. It, it will not be the same. You know why? Because our understanding is so limited because of the sin, sinful nature. Our the sin, the sinful nature had limited our thoughts to the point whereby, even though if God in His thought He decided not to give His desire into the into the spirit and his spirit gonna not bomb to our spirit and uh, what God is thinking or what is the desire of God or what is the will of God to us when we receive it we were still missing in somewhere in somehow we were still missing it we will not get it the full picture do you know why because for the thing for the no matter, no matter what revelation God has given through, through vision, through uh, dreams, through prophecy, no matter, no matter what, uh, uh, how powerful the vision is, and no matter how uh, how powerful the interpretation of that prophetic vision or prophetic prophecy or prophetic perfect dreams no matter how powerful it is you have get the the interpretation i'm telling you there's still something that you will lack in lack there is still something that it will be missing and that thing that is missing only belo belongs to god alone you will all gonna understand having the few picture about the prophetic vision god has showing to you when that vision will be taking place in the present tense when it will take place in this era when it will take place in the same moment that you are living now are you with me? I hope you understand what I'm saying. You just need to know this. Because many people, they said, no, I know what God told me. I know this. God has been showing me in a vision. He told me that in, in, a, in, the, in that interpretation, the Spirit told me is that. He revealed to me the means of that dream is this. And the, the means of that vision is this. But let me tell you, yes, the Holy Spirit, He can, uh, he can give you a picture of what God want to show you and he can give you the interpretation of what God wants you to know but there's something he all gonna give you on what God want you to know about on, on what God want you to know about he will not give you the full picture until the things, the dreams, the vision, the prophetic vision and prophecy will take place. You will understand everything will be clear in your life when the things now will begin to take place. While the things is all in vision, while, while the thoughts, all the promise, all the purpose, all, all whatever God has entrusted in you will be is, is, is yet in, in the vision, is yet in, in, in the dream, is yet in a prophecy, and 
until it take place is when you will receive now the revelation of everything is when you will see ah th that thing it meant to say this that thing it meant to say that that thing it meant to say this and so on why because now you are living in that fulfillment of the prophecy it's the same way when jesus told to the pro to the to the disciples that it's the same way they have rejected the john uh, they have rejected john the baptist the son of man will also he will also suffer at 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 their hands why because they they were not even just understood they just got one understanding you see what they understood they just understood that god he, he had spoken to them about john the baptist yes indeed it was about the john the baptist but jesus was also giving him giving them another another revelation that is about to take place but they got if you were if you if i don't know if you ever noticed this in the gospel books you will see that when jesus was about when jesus was revealing about his his who he is when jesus was revealing about who he is he is the messiah even the disciple they were, they were not even get like the full picture of things of the things that jesus was saying until jesus had raised from the dead after he raised from the dead until his uh he ascended in heaven and until the promise gift which is the Holy Spirit came upon them is when they really had that full picture about the Messiah indeed it was the Messiah who were with us who were among us they got the full picture it's not that they were in doubt it's not that they were not believing Jesus they believed they believed that's why they followed him but they were not having the full picture they couldn't understand in full you know in fullness about the life of jesus that he was really the messiah until all those things had happened that's why jesus told them for them not to say anything to what they have seen they saw to what they saw until he has to raised from the dead and how many times God has given you a dream? How many times God has given you a prophetic dream, a prophetic vision, a prophetic prophecy? God has been telling you and sometimes the Spirit of God it has been revealed to you the meaning of that dream, the interpretation of that dream, but yet you still is still missing somewhere somehow. You don't get the full picture. And sometimes you think that you know even when God has given you the, the interpretation, you will understand better when the things of what God has tell, told you taking place. When you now begin to live in that fulfillment of the prophecy, when now you will be get into that vision you have received three, three years back, four years back, when you now begin to live to step in is when everything will be clear before you is when you will now say oh my god this is so powerful that's why the something that god has hidden he's hide for you it's not because he hide that complementation you know the complementation of the dreams of the prophetic dream the complementation of the 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 prophetic interpretation of the dream the complementation of the prophetic um vision of 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 what you have receiving god has hidden it he has hidden it he he has hidden it for the time when that thing will not take in place when that thing it's gonna take in place and you will be able to see everything you will be able to understand let me tell you this thing uh, you might think that no 
I know already what God has given, what, what God is showing me. I know God told me to go there. God told me to do this. God has been showing me, revealing me some many thing of in uh, about my ministry, about my calling. I know everything about what God has been showing me. Let me tell you, you don't know yet anything about what, what God has given to you. Because the Bible says that his thought is more higher than our thoughts. His way is more higher than our ways that's why it, that means that we cannot even reach to think about what God is thinking we cannot even reach to know what what is in God's heart we cannot even guess what is in the in God's heart we cannot even guess what is the what what is the desire of God we cannot even guess the Bible it shows us everything, but it's it. The Bible is 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 is, is complete. It's complete. The Bible is complete. It's still complete, but there's there's something that for it, it's still complete, but it will be more fulfilled and and it will be more complete when not the things that God has spoken taking place all the prophecy when it's taking place we will see that we are living in we are living to fulfill the prophecy we are living to fulfill the Bible the scripture we are living to to fulfill the purpose we are living to fulfill what does what God has entrusted in us to fulfill we are living to do that that's why you need to understand this. Don't limit God. Hey, I'm telling you this. Hey, come on. Come on, somebody. Don't limit God. Don't limit God. Don't say, I know everything. God, am I? Oh, look, let me tell you. Even though the Spirit has revealed you something when, while you are, you are reading the Bible, while you are reading the Scripture, even though God, the Holy Spirit has revealed you something, let me tell you that, that something. That thing is not all. It's not all. It's not all. It's not all. There's still more to God. God does want to reveal. There's still more that God wants to reveal to show up. There's still more that what God what there's still more that what God wants to show it to you. Want to show it to you. There's still more what God wants to reveal it to you. You just need to step closer, more closer to God. Because the only way for us to get that health of the fulfillment of our 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 ministry our calling our purpose ah is to be more closer to him you need to be more closer to him you need to be more closer to him each and every day let me tell you let me tell you this thing the more you get closer to god the more he will reveal he will reveal to you and he will reveal his desire in you that's why the more you get closer to god the more he will reveal his desire in you that's why the holy spirit ah the holy spirit he intercedes for us he interceded for us. Why? Because it's God who knows better what is is uh, is God who knows better what is His will. That's why He gives to the Holy Spirit to intercede in us through us to show us the glory, to show us the the revelation, the thought, to show us the desire of His. The Holy Spirit does not make a prayer for him alone for his own desire he prays he prays in you the desire of God he prays in you the desire of God to be fulfilled in your life in your spirit he is the one who brings the desire of God into your spirit. He is the one who brings the right desire of God into your spirit. That's why he intercedes in you and he shows you. That's why now you begin to have a vision. That's, that's why you, you, you now begin to have a dreams, a prophetic dream, a prophetic vision. That's why sometimes you receive a prophetic prophecies that's why you have received it why you receive them why because it's the holy spirit who is revealing the desire of god in you that's why we need to be able to know and what the what god gives 
to the Holy Spirit is what he allows us to know about. What God gives to the Spirit of God, what God gives to the Holy Spirit to us is what God wants us to know about. That's why on what we have we had received, we need to receive it and to stick in it so that we might build our foundation. So that we might build our foundation in it. He doesn't want us, you know, just imagine God showing you everything. Just imagine. Even when you are when you are sleeping, eh? When you are sleeping, it's time for sleep. It's, it's sleeping time. You are sleeping and you have a dream. And you are dreaming. You see, it's eight hours. Actually, it's eight hours. That eight hours you are dreaming. Would you ever imagine that in the dream there is no time, neither space? That's why when you dream in the spiritual realm, when you dream in the spiritual realm, everything is happening in the same time. While here in the natural realm, in the physical realm, you are sleeping and the time is going on. And when you wake up, sometimes you wake up in the middle of the dream. Why? Because it's the time to wake up. And you see the time went on. The time has gone. And you see the time has gone. Why? Because of that. And imagine God revealing to you everything about what he has, he has for you. I'm telling you, you, are that, you are, by that time you are dead. You are not alive anymore. Because it will take all your life for God to reveal you everything. That's why, that's why each and every day we need to be more, we need to get more closer to God. Each and every day, it's like a, it's a health. Uh, it's like the more we get closer day by day, the health God will show his, his purpose in us. The more we get closer day by day, the health God will show his, his, his purpose in us. The more God will show his ministry, what we should do, what we have to do. Uh, this is what, how does God work. That's why you should not stop praying. You should not stop seeking God. You should not limit God. You should not. Those few things that God is showing to you is not, is not nothing but it's something. It's not yet nothing but it's something. It's something for you to be dependable on Him. You need to be able to be dependable on Him. You need to be willing to be dependable on Him. You need to depend on Him. That's why He doesn't want to show you everything. So that you depend on Him. So that you depend on Him. You know that God, I don't know anything. That's why sometimes you receive some, like God, today He showed you something in the vision. Tomorrow He shows you something else. And after tomorrow He shows you something else. It seems like God is confusing you. But God is not confused. It's just our mind is not able, capable to understand how God is working. In our mindset, God is writing in a crooked lines but in God's mind he is writing straight but in our mind it's like God writing in a crooked line he is not writing a crooked line God is writing straight he knows better than you he knows better than you you just need to bring combine them together if yesterday God showed you that today God showed you that and you just bring them combine them together combine them together and say God I know I don't understand what is it that it seems like everything is going to happen and I don't know it's confused it seems like everything is confused it's look like it's confused I'm not be able to handle this thing but let me tell you something God who knows everything if you just stick on him if you just hold on on him and be patient and believe in that is him who showed you everything who gave you that vision who gave you that prophecy who gave you that dream ah if you believe in that God he will make it until it will take place you will see the few pictures. You will see the few pictures. You just need to hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Be still, be still, be still, be patient. Ah, no prophetic vision. Oh, dream, uh, a prophetic dreams. Oh, a prophetic prophecy. I'm not in hurry. I'm not in hurry. I'm not in hurry. I might not see. It seems like it's a confusion. It seems like I'm getting confused. It seems like things are, it seems, it seems
seems like things are in disorder, but I believe in whom who showed me. I believe in whom who revealed it to me. I'm, not, I'm waiting patiently until it will take place, until it will, it will take place, so that I might know that it's God who is in, in this is in this matter. It's God is. It's God, it's God who is in this business, the man of fact, I believe is him, the man of fact, I believe is him. You need to believe that is him. You need to believe that is God who has been showing to you. You need to believe that, you need to believe that. Oh, you need to tell it to your prophetic vision, prophetic dreams. Ah, if they are trying to make confusion, God is not confusing you. God is not a God of disorder. God is not a God of confusion. God is the God of order. God is the God of order. God is a God. He knows best. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He knows why he is showing you that vision. That it seems like it's, it's a confusion, but it's not. When the time is right, I, God, I will make it right. I will make it right. I will make it in a straight line. I will make it in a straight line. It seems like in a crooked line, but I will put I will gonna put it in a straight line and you will have the few picture that I'm showing to you. I know you are not understanding. God is saying, I know that you are not understanding this vision, but I'm I'm gonna it will be a time. I'm gonna put it I'm gonna make you to live in when you will be standing in that in that prophecy, when you'll be living that prophecy, when you will be placing that prophecy, you will see, you will see, you will see, everything will be clear, everything will be clear to you, everything will be clear unto you, everything will be clear unto you. There are things that is still yet to come for you to understand that because he said Elijah is coming and he will restore everything. I uh, I don't care if it really Elijah he will come. I don't care if it will be the ministry that will come. But one thing that say that I know is what God is what Jesus said. Uh, he will come and he will restore everything. It's something that is still yet to come. I don't care if it will be after 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 rapture or before rapture. I don't care if it will be uh, in the final in the fall, in the final judgment. I don't care if it will be in the end time. I don't care about this. But one thing that I, I believe is that what God has speaking is what is gonna take in place. If He has spoken something, everything that He has spoken, it will not go out empty. It must do something. It must cause something, and it will cause. Thing. What God have said, He's not a man who should lie. He's not a man who should lie. He will do what He have said. He will do what He have said. Everything will take place. That is the prophecy. That is the matter. He will restore everything. Just receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. You might not understand what God has been showing to you. You you might be confused. You might be confused in all those visions, prophets. You might be confused. God, when then this thing is gonna take place? Ah, oh, look, God, it seems like it's, it's a confusion where you are taking my, where you are taking me now. It doesn't make sense to what you have told me. No, 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 no. Even it seems like it doesn't make sense. I'm telling you, God is is writing in a straight line. God is writing in a straight line. You you need to know that he is writing a straight line. He is writing a straight line. We just need to be patient. Be patient. There's someone who needs to be patient. If you need to be patient, say, God, help me to be patient. I'm not in hurry. I'm not in hurry. I know that you will fulfill everything. I know that you will fulfill everything. Even though I understood that small thing in that revelation, but I believe there's still more to things are to take place there are still more things to take place there are still more things that is hidden in you there are still more things that is in your heart there are still more things that is your desire for my life i believe i believe i believe you just need to believe you just need to believe this is the only thing that you need to believe you don't understand anything you don't get the old picture the full picture you don't get the fullness of everything that God is showing to you but once you will step day by day is the half of, of the fulfillment of the promise or the ministry that God has entrusted you day by day 
you are stepping, you are fulfilling. Day by day, you are fulfilling. That's why God, he will give you like this. He will give you small things. He will give you, today he showed you this, tomorrow he will show you that. Ah, so on, so on, so on. He will show you like that. Because you need to step in faith. You need to step in faith. Today you, you, you have gotten a half. Tomorrow you will, go, you will get a half. After tomorrow you will get a half. Ah, ah, it will be like this often. So on, so on, continue, continuously. You will see, you will see, you are stepping. You will see a step by step, little bit, you are fulfilling. You are fulfilling. The promise of God. You are fulfilling what God has shown to you. Just trust in Him. Just trust in Him. Believe in Him. Believe on, on what God has given to you. Even though things seems like uh, are not working out, are not working to are not working together. It seems like I'm not combining together, I'm not coming out together. It doesn't suit nice. It doesn't fit. They don't fit. They don't fit. They don't fit. Even it seems like where you are now does not, it does not, it doesn't have anything about what God has told you. To those who are, who are not yet, who they didn't yet step in the vision, the prophecy that they have got from God, but they always have been listening people god has been sending people to them to tell them about the promise about the, the prophecy and and they are still waiting they are still waiting god this prophecy they never take place they never take place let me tell you just being in the presence of god this is what you all need to do you all need to be in the presence of god you just need to stick to hold on on to god just hold on him hold on him you don't much just hold on him you will see when the time is right he will make everything to happen everything will take place and it's when you will see with your eye you are living the purpose of God you are will see the fulfillment you will see the fullness of that vision you will see the fullness of that dreams you will see the fullness of that prophecy taking place and you step in there. Receive it in Jesus' my name. Receive it. Be patient. Be, be dependable in God. Be dependable in God. Uh, don't rush. Don't rush. You need to keep on pursuing. You need to endure. You need to endure. You need to endure. Uh, you need to endure. You just need to endure. This is the only thing that you need. Receive it. Receive this word in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever you have been receiving, either by vision, prophecy, or dreams, you just need to endure. Endure. You just need to pursue. You just need to hold on. You just need to stick in it. Let it be your. Let, let it be the foundation of your faith. Let it be the foundation of of, of your faith, so that it will drop you into your destination. Let it be the foundation of your faith let it be the foundation in Jesus mighty name be blessed and stay blessed because you are blessed in Jesus name I pray and I declare it over your life in mighty name of Jesus Amen